there's so much that I can do that part of the joy of being on the course is actually realising that I have more opportunities that, than I thought I had. There's such a depth and wealth of expertise um, uh, within this programme. There are people who are experts on, you know, everything from kind of queer theory to post-colonial studies. I feel like I'm just getting started. I'm really just getting started, like I've been introduced to a whole variety of ideas that give me a completely new way to see the world. The point where I decided that yes I can come and do, um, go back to education was itself uh, a, a big opening up, a big revelation that you, know, you don't have to keep on one path throughout your life. I have a background in psychology and sociology and there's basically in the entire continent of Europe not a course that so thoroughly combines uh, societal or social scope with psychological scope. It's definitely informed the way I think about things. I'm a lot more um, understanding and critical as well, in a sense. I've started to want a way to merge these two threads of what I do. So, how to affect radical social change, political activist change, um, in a way that's more sustainable, in a world where I increasingly need a job. There are no set answers that you are there opening up the questions, and it's always this opening up of questions rather than saying, right, here are the answers. It's, no, there's, there's still some more questions to ask here. I would definitely recommend the programme to someone else. I actually, although this is my first term, I find it difficult to explain to people just how much I'm getting from it. There's something about going beyond actually what we know around, say, I don't know, sociological kind of frameworks and going, yes, but what does this mean to how we feel about the world? It's, uh, it's great, it's really interesting, it's, um, it's the type of study that really gets you thinking about all, to all sorts of things, you know, about life, it's um, very welcoming and people that you meet are very friendly and I think you find a lot of um, like-minded people as well, so I find it, it's been a very easy transition for me to come here. Well first of all it's very nice to enter an environment where so many scholars from various backgrounds come together. It's really noticeable in the, 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 the programme, the broad variety of topics that are covered and also the very broad interests of the department, which make it very easy to um, not only relate to the course content, but also the broader field we're theorising in, the psychosocial. It's an evening university for adult students. Sometimes it's people who, who have not gone straight to university before. So in theory, have been out in the world and had a little think about the world and how it worked and then come on the course. So they've also, it's also got all of that grounded knowledge that people bring to the course from their own experience. I started studying um, psychotherapy and became very interested in the ideas and became more and more interested in, in the way that the human mind works but also the way that we interact with society. What I've enjoyed most about my studies is finding out how much I didn't know. I think I'd arrived at the point in life where I would have considered myself quite cynical about life, about politics, about social issues and um, having this sort of motivation, new motivation to read and explore more has for me, it's been quite an eye-opener. This idea of sharing with other people and seeing that other people's views are different from yours is, is actually part of what psychosocial studies is about. But until last year, I was a bit um, doubtful uh, regarding the field of studies I wanted to conduct a PhD into, but a field as critical and as broad as psychosocial studies will definitely uh, offer enough opportunity to find a proper topic. So some of the language that we use, we've used in my organisation has completely altered as a result of doing this programme. And then in terms of thinking career path, 
I'm seriously contemplating that PhD at the moment, which is which is quite fascinating. And and although I'd say I'm relatively confident as a human being, if I hadn't put myself into that space, I wouldn't have felt that it was possible. It would have felt like a bit of a kind of wild kind of dream. There are several remarkable things about this department, and I would like to share with you two of them in particular. One, I think, is its students, the type of students the department attracts. And the second thing is the type of research we do here. We have a community of students that come to our master's level programs and PhD program, coming from a variety of academic perspectives and disciplinary experiences, but also from a variety of regions in the world. Normally when you work in traditional sociology departments or politics departments or philosophy departments, etc., your research is sort of confined within the boundaries of disciplinary knowledges and wisdoms, methodologies. Um, so although research is, which is being produced is great, somehow it's confined into those ways of doing things. Um, we do something quite different. We don't start from a disciplinary tradition, but we start with a problem. Questions about belonging. Questions about the commons. What do we share? What do we share and, and in what ways are we different? And those kinds of questions about belonging and communality and sameness and difference are linked to understanding uh, something about our mutual dependencies on one another and our mutual vulnerabilities and how those play out not just in psychic terms but in social terms. <laughs>